Hi, I'm Peter Blatch and I'm a member of the World Scout Committee. I was elected in Slovenia in 2014 and I'm from Down Under, Australia. But as a member of the World Scout Committee, my nationality or region doesn't matter. My role is to provide advocacy and to represent the interests of the entire Scout movement. I've been a Scout since I was eight for almost 55 years. And while I'm 62, I like to think that I'm 30 with another 30 years of different experiences. I am retired after having been a teacher, principal and school inspector. So I now have lots of spare time to spend on scouting. And it's so good not having to balance my work commitments alongside my scouting appointments. I have always worked with young people and those with special needs, and my scouting experiences have certainly reflected my interests in youth, education and everyone achieving their potential, whatever that may be. Currently, in Scouting in Australia, I'm a Deputy Chief Commissioner for Queensland and have responsibility for the youth program, which I think is really the most exciting part of scouting. Because of these experiences and my passion for scouting, others suggested that I nominate for the World Scout Committee. My involvement in the committee has been a great learning experience. As you know, the committee has a responsibility to act on behalf of the World Scout Conference between its meetings every three years to make its decisions recommendations and policies happen, and to represent it at international and national events. There are five significant practices that I've learnt from my involvement on the World Scout Committee to date, and I share these with you. Firstly, it was so exciting to be involved in the development of the Triennial Plan, which outlines the expectations set by the World Scout Conference in 2014. The document clearly identifies our key result areas, our actions and the timelines to track our progress. To support this, we've prepared a mid-term report of our work to date. This provides an outline of all that we have done and what we still plan to achieve. The importance of any new team having a suitable induction was reinforced and our four-day induction occurred at the Ten Mile River Boy Scout Camp, a perfect venue which was invaluable and meant we started to operate as a functioning team, each aware of our new roles and responsibilities and the work methods that we would use. Fourthly, to complement this, we developed our own charter of operations, which helps us focus and sets out our purpose how we work at meetings and between our two meetings each year, the behaviours we commit to and our accountabilities. And the laminated chart on my desk reminds me of this. And lastly, or fifthly, we evaluate our performance both as individual members and as a committee overall at the end of each meeting so we can improve our future contributions. Also, we have clearly identified performance reviews annually and declare any potential conflict of interests prior to each meeting. I am the workstream leader of one of the quadrants of the Triennial Plan. It's known as reaching out to all, commonly called ROTA, and it considers social impact, diversity and inclusion. These issues influence all aspects of our Scout program, and it's really important that they are considered. Ten of us meet monthly via Skype to implement the action plans we developed at the start of the triennium. Our membership comes from six regions. We know there is great diversity across our regions. Countries are at different stages development in these areas and so it's really important 
that we can assist national scout organisations to learn from each other and provide support. Are you ready? Think of the members of your local scouts. Do they represent the different types of young people in your community, who are in your schools and in your groups? Perhaps currently there are many young people who have part-time jobs or work irregular hours as well as doing their studies. Are these people able to and welcomed into our scouting program? Diversity and inclusion goes much further than just our membership. It's our methods, our delivery, our variety and the types of programs that must accommodate all young people. And so now, as part of our reaching out, we'd love your thoughts about reviewing ideas about diversity and inclusion, as we've discussed, sharing any ideas you might have for expanding scouting into new social, ethnic and religious communities, sharing with us any tools, resources or best practices that you know of, and certainly any fun youth program resources that you've found valuable. It's for everyone. Another very important priority is measuring social impact. And specifically, by 2017, our goal is for a new social impact measurement tool to be developed and to be piloted in at least one national scout organisation in each region. This will help scouting measure the impact it is making in communities as well as for individuals. It's through these projects that scouts assist create a better world. We've defined social impact as the effect of a scouting activity on individuals and families within a community, as well as the scouting members involved in planning and implementation. So this Im has impact for the individual scout, the community and the national level. Our work to date includes developing the definition of social impact for scouting and identifying an independent learning institution, Symmetrica, from the United Kingdom that's helping us to work on our project. Currently, we're developing a measurement tool that can be used by national scout organisations and we're going to be trialling this tool with at least one national scout organisation in each region and training regional contexts to use this tool. The 23rd World Scout Jamboree in Japan last August provided a great opportunity for us and more than 5,000 young people to participate in reaching out activities as part of the Better World Tent. Personally, this was a great experience to gain at first hand information about the impact and the diversity of our programs that our many young people are involved with. Rota bases at the Jamboree included young people describing how they were making a social impact and mapping these projects on the globe. Some made chains of diversity and discussed their differences and similarities with their new friends. Some used a bingo game to discover their similarities and differences. Our own Scout TED style discussions around the campfire enabled young people to share their views and to discuss these with others. For all, these activities were very successful and showed how these principles can be included in our youth program at all levels. The Rota team grew and many new leaders from other countries joined us to share the work being done in these priority areas. I'm also the liaison between the World Scout Committee and the Jota Jotai team and on the weekend the 14th to the 16th of October we're going to be celebrating the 59th Jamboree on the air and the 20th Jamboree on the internet. I'm sure you'll agree that this weekend is a highlight 
in every country's scout and guide calendars. And last year, one million scouts and guides from 151 countries were registered to take part in the event, and we know even more participated. Another project involves scouting and emergency situations. Currently, there are many disasters that are occurring through our world and scouts want to provide support. WUSM is addressing the role that scouting can play in responding to emergency situations. There is currently no position paper on this. We wish to build on the expertise of NSOs around the world who have considerable experience in this area. It would be remiss not to mention the significant impact that the Messengers of Peace program is having on NSOs. There is no doubt that this program is certainly creating social impact. As well as funding components of the GSAT, the Global Support Assessment Tool, grants are available to assist NSOs to undertake projects in local communities which have the potential to make significant and lasting effects in communities and to demonstrate that scouts are messengers of peace. I have been fortunate to witness at first hand the significant benefits that this is providing. A recent review of this program confirmed its success and of the value it adds to our youth program. Through this initiative, Scouts have recorded almost 680 million service hours, demonstrating how we are making a social impact and creating a better world. And whilst we're talking of a better world, I wish to confirm my support for your forthcoming jamboree and of my active promotion at regional and international events. Thank you for what you are doing in your important roles of ensuring our youth can benefit from the wide range of activities available. And I can assure you there is no better youth movement for young men and women today than scouting. Now I really think I need to give you all a cup of Billy tea and say a hearty thank you. Thanks so much for putting up with my homemade video message but I'd love to get your feedback and I'd love you to contact me regarding any specific issues I've mentioned. You know, as adults, we also have a responsibility to be advocates for the principles of scouting, as well as helping to achieve our mission. However, we must never lose sight as we all work together throughout the world in our different roles and with our different scouting teams to reinforce that together and united, we are making scouting the world's leading youth education movement. Together, we are creating a better world. Again, thanks for your time and great scouting.